Guys, today I will show you how you can become the baddest man in Division 2 history and that's not a cap guys. And also it's not a clickbait, I will show you how you can get 1 million damage per bullet from your turret but let's start with your drone which will provide you with 500k damage per bullet! Ha! And now let's move to our turret. One mil baby on the table! Oh, that's a lot of damage! <laughs> I am unstoppable and this build is absolutely disgusting. And if you want to see how this build looks in real life, not on paper, just check this footage. I destroyed spawn, basically new wave with three chungas on legendary difficulty with three directives in 15 seconds! 15! Oh my god, what I have created. Uncle Butcher in the building. If you are new here, hit that like, smash the sub, or leave a hateful comment. It really depends on your preference. But if you want to be updated to all the best PV, PvP builds and life hacks in this game, you know what you have to do. Long story short, guys, all the magic happens around new exotic B pistol. And of course your skills. This ship, man, is on another level. Somehow this pistol is glitched out or bugged. You never know in Division 2 which is the real problem, but uh, nevertheless it's not surprising because with each update we have a huge amount of issues and this update is no exception. So as you saw in the description, excuse me, this exotic pistol should provide you with weapon damage, but that's not the case. Once you're gonna stack your pistol and if you're gonna switch to your test subject, for example, you'll receive immediately insane amount of skill damage. 700k, 900k, it depends how stacked is your wave from holster, exotic holster, but damage numbers are absolutely insane. You can easily reach one a million and even higher than that. But before we continue, quick word from this sponsor, Diving.net. If you don't have enough time review teammates, but you still want to have all the best items in your game, then Diving.net is site for you. They have absolutely amazing team on consoles. They will complete your order super quick. Everything happens through Econ sharing. This service has been working for many, many years. They have tons of customer reviews, you can check everything by yourself, but now with my promo code RBD, you will have 15% discount on all services. It's an amazing deal, especially when right now they have some crazy sales going on. So definitely go check these guys out. And if you have any questions, comment down below or contact the operator. But now let's get back to the baddest build in Division 2 right now. Don't get me wrong, I'm having a blast by destroying legendary enemies without breaking a sweat. It's absolutely disgusting. Pure cheat code, but hey, that's massive fault. I don't know why B pistol works with your skills. It should not work like that, but you can take it with this. Complete new strongholds, destroy bosses. Guys, this shit is absolutely insane. Just like Butcher loves it. For specialization, we are using Technician. Technician will provide us with one extra skill tier, skill damage, disrupt grenades. Those are extremely handy on legendary difficulty. Link at laser pointer attachment, which is very important in this build as well, because on our second weapon, AK Kingbreaker, we are using it and we are activating perfect flatline, which will actually work with your skills as well. This shit, man! <laughs> oh my goodness! And rocket launch by itself can deal nasty damage. And actually, your B pistol. No, I haven't tested it. Really. I have to do more tests. Can your B pistol boost your specialization weapon? I do more tests on that later on. For main weapons, I'm using test subject with perfect in sync. And it works really well with your B pistol. 40% skill damage and weapon damage boost and you don't have to stack it. Look at this, Chang deleted in split second. I couldn't even fire that fast. <laughs> and, <laughs> and this build destroys enemies like nothing. For second weapon I'm using Kingbreaker with perfect flatland. By itself it hits harder than your ex. <laughs> 
Flatline is amplified weapon damage and linked laser pointer attachment can be used on that weapon and again that will work with your little B pistol. You can stack it, switch your kingbreaker or test subject, pulse your enemy, activate flatline and you can reach 800k. I reached I think 860 or 90k with my flatline but test subject is absolutely disgusting with test subject i'm reaching 9k 900k 1 million plus per bullet from your assault turret guys 1 million and that's as a solo player a solo player with other boosts and only thing missing in my setup is right now overcharge for maximum damage numbers i could use Instead of my Kingbreaker, maybe a weapon with future perfection talent for overcharge reasons. And maybe I would push this build even further, but if I have to be honest, how many times you're gonna get that? So that's not sustainable damage. So maybe for simply number showcase, I will do that build a little bit later with uh, uh, future perfection as my second weapon. For chess piece, I'm using Providence, name a chess piece with perfect less cannon. 30% amplified weapon damage, it will provide you with maximum DPS output guys. And in team scenario you have multiple ways how you can push your setup even further. You can reach much more than 1 million in team play. For example, if somebody on your team will use Scorpio shotgun with full stacks applied, that enemy will receive more incoming damage. Overwatch talent will boost your skill damage as well if somebody on your squad will use it. Survival specialization, for example, as well. If you're gonna, if your teammate with survival specialization will apply status effect, you're gonna deal more damage on that enemy or to that enemy. And I think healer as well could give you more DPS. So definitely you can push this build to absolutely insane amount of numbers, but as a solo player, only thing missing right now is on my chest piece one and a half percent i can optimize the chest piece and everywhere i have 10 percent skill damage and maybe that overcharge you can proc it here and there maybe if you have to kill changas but the, for holster i'm using waveform exotic holster and for that reason i'm recommending you recommending you to use two damage skills such as Stinger Hive and Assault Turret or maybe Striker Drone with Assault Turret but on legendary difficulty Striker Drone dies really quickly so I would recommend to use maybe Artificial Hive or Stinger Hive for legendary difficulty. For heroic difficulty you can use whatever skill you want. For backpack I'm using Viver with combined arms and combined arms sometimes is a little bit better option than test subject. For example if you are traveling from room to room you don't have any enemies to kill so you don't have that uh, extra damage kick and uh, combined arms can help you with that and you can instantly get maximum dps output but test excuse me not test subject but uh, um, tech support excuse me tech support is for lazy players your skills will eventually kill somebody and tech support will work for 20 seconds and the same amount of damage boost Combined arms and tech support will provide you with 25% extra weapon damage. So it depends on your playstyle. If you are lazy or if you like to shoot and get the, the maximum boost immediately, you can use combined arms. But either way, the same amount of damage. On this build, I'm using three pieces from Empress International gear set for skill, haste, skill damage, and skill efficiency reasons. And yeah, this build is pretty goddamn self-explanatory right now. This is the baddest effing build in the game. Butcher drops the mic.